<laughs> Have fun at school, girls. Good rat school, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right now we're on our way to do a home inspection on the farmhouse. Um, a few things have happened. So we were in Hawaii, the original offer got accepted and um, they t terminated our offer after they received a cash offer. The cash offer, we don't know what happened, but we did submit a video to them to see if they would give us the opportunity to drop the contingency on our house. And they came back about a week later, said that they would do that, so we, we did that. And they accepted our offer right away. We have the inspection today. We're a little apprehensive, we're nervous, but I'm super excited because this could be it. This is the edge of suburbia. It's farmland from here on out. And then from the right and left of us, there are really nice new subdivisions that are going in. Back at the farmhouse, this is very exciting. I didn't think we were going to be falling into the driveway again. Like, I had to just close Zemo because when I would see it, it feels like an exploiter. <laughs> that broke my heart. <laughs> That's what I kind of felt like. Yes, but yeah, like like Marty said, this part of the house, as you can tell, I think it, it's, I don't know if it's here with Atticus, but this part was a separate building added in 1953. Right. Oh, okay. And my dream was to stay here and update and stuff like that. But if I can't do that, I'd love to pass it on to. Mm -hmm. And a family of four, yeah, it's it's a fantastic place. You yeah, know, let we're them, really excited. Let them run around, but mm -hmm. I yeah, caution the wildlife. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of it around. Around here. Yes. Coyotes. Like what? The yes. Coyotes. Yeah, we get everything from deer to coyote to I saw my first woodchuck groundhog when I lived in Pennsylvania. They were mm -hmm. all over our property. Um, cool turtles. It is, I'm going to be honest, a ton of work. <laughs> so needless to say, through goats and a pony and several other things, you know, we, we're down to the cat. Um, so how I, hard were the goats? I, you know what, if I would stay here, I would get goats. I would get yeah. like the pygmy goats. Um, but okay. I would start out super slow, mm -hmm. but there are, we have friends who my girls babysat me, me. and they started like with one or two goats mm -hmm. and then they had the baby kids right. and um, so there's people in the area who do that, but mm -hmm. I would start out very small. Don't get mm -hmm. a whole herd. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. Do you know, how are your neighbors are? Do you know? They're them? wonderful. This is cool. This is dang cool. This is this is a this is a hay con. You get a couple of those. In. You like it in here? So apparently this one has electric. Yeah, that's not that's not a good thing there. No. I mean... Yeah. Is that what that is? Corn crib? I mean, but everything basically is like, you know, it's not even it's all solid. Wow, I am just like so excited right now. It was so awesome being able to talk to the owner of this house and just having her tell us the history and it just makes me so excited to live here and she has just given us a whole lot of confidence that um, that this will be, yeah, I'm sure a lot of work, but that we're going to be able to start an incredible life here. We're a couple days into the quarantine, and so being that I usually work out of Starbucks or head into the city and work there or work out of our office, none of those are options right now. So I'm stuck in my son's bedroom and trying to make it work here because if I'm not removed from the family, there's no getting work done. But I did just want to share this with you guys that I was wrapping up the video, this one that you just watched here, and I was going back and forth with Anne, who was the owner of, or the daughter of the owner of the farmhouse that was there. She said that, I also wanted to let you know that at about the time that you were diagnosed with cancer, we were told by my oldest brother, who was selling the farm, that we had to move out. 
I started praying at that time for a family with kids to be the ones to come make the farm their home. And that just brought like tears to my eyes that, you know, it was just like another sign from God that this is the, you know, the right direction. Um, doesn't mean that it's the perfect direction for us or that there won't come with a ton of challenges. And it's just things like this that help to make the decision feel right.